Hey y'all, it's Emily. Okay, so I did a tutorial. I actually filmed it last night when I did my hair on how to do highlights in your own hair. Um, I did go to hair school, so I have already had some experience with this. So if you're not comfortable, please don't do it. Um, I cannot be held responsible for any mishaps because trust me, every hairstylist has one where you mean to get blonde hair and you end up like with orange or something. So anyways, um, I'll take my hair down just so that you can see it. I did a tutorial on how to get these highlights in your hair. Um, I just did the front sections. I'll show you like how I part it and everything in the video, but um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this and I hope that you try it out. Bye. Okay, so I look beautiful, I know, but I've already sectioned my hair off. I'm, I parted my hair in the middle and I'm doing two on the side going in a triangle. Um, formation like down from the crown of my head to the sides like right behind my ears because if I did a panel in the middle um, I part my hair on the side so the highlights would stop right here so there'd be tons of highlights over here and not any over here so that's the reason for that and then I just left my bangs out and I'm just gonna put throw a highlight in there at the end but if you guys can see that's my side and I'm just gonna take my hair in the back and kind of section that out of the way. I did one highlight in the back of my head, but I'm not gonna do that in the video because I don't recommend doing it because I couldn't see anything that I was doing. So, I already have my lightener mixed up. Um, I just used Ion Color Brilliance Powder Lightener. I got this from Sally's. And then the developer I'm using is this Pro Care 30 volume that I got um, like a week ago when I did my first set of highlights. Um, so I'm not using the same one that goes together, but whatever. I'm using 30 volume. You guys can use 20 if you're not comfortable, you know, whatevs. And then I, this is the foil that I'm using and you just get it from Sally's. It's like a roll and it'll last you forever. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and put this section down and I'm just going to make like kind of a triangle section right here and then clip this back up. Okay, I'm gonna turn kind of to the side. Okay, then what I'm going to do is kind of weave in with my rat tail comb. A rat tail is like super duper important for this. So that hair right here is actually what I'm gonna be highlighting. So I'm gonna bring that forward and then kind of think about how I do my hands. Okay, then I'm just gonna hold that with my thumb and then with the bottom of my rat tail, I'm gonna go in right here and bring it up to the root where that hair starts and just fold it over and grab the hair like that. So it's gonna look really funny at first. And then take my bleach. There you go. And just kind of bring that down. And then just bring that down. This is kind of the consistency that I like my stuff to be. I don't want it to be too thick because really thick stuff acts faster but it dries quicker. So once the um, bleach actually dries, it won't work anymore. It won't lighten anymore. And then just take it about in the middle, fold it. Fold that again, and then you can just fold it in on the side. Oh my gosh, it's so much easier doing it on other people. But that's the idea of it. And you can just decide, like, if you want a big, chunky weave, you're going to end up with more blonde. A thinner weave, you're going to end up, like, a little bit more natural looking. It's just up to you. Let's see. I'm like using the tiniest mirror. I can't believe I'm even doing this right now. And then it's just my foil. Okay. So I start, I don't go all the way up to the root with this because bleach expands. 
And so like as it sits and gets hotter just from the heat of your head, it's going to expand and you'll get what you call a bleeder and it's where the bleach goes out. And um, it'll look like this like weird like streak um, on your head. But just make sure to coat all the pieces real good. And just like you want to get your root, but at the same time you don't want it to be really thick because you don't want it to expand and get one of those bleeders. So just kind of do it lighter right at the top. Fold it over. We're done. So like a rat tail comb is super important. Last time I did it, I tried to do it like with the end of the coloring brush and it's just so much thicker and harder to do it that way. I don't want to pick up that hair that's already on. Yeah, and if you already have like bleach blonde hair, try not to go over the pieces that have already been bleached because that will cause breakage. Okay, this is like so diagonal. Oh. I don't like that. Okay, I'm going to redo that section. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the rest of this side, and then I'll come back to show you how to do this side. Okay, so I finished this side. I'm doing five on this side, five on this side. I've done three, and since I did the bottom over here, I'm going to show you how to do the top part on this side. So I'm just going to take the hair that I have left, and I'm going to do it kind of straight back. Like you do it really diagonal at first and then it's like, it's like diagonal, diagonal and then you kind of like, like ding, ding, ding and then it like gets straight across if you see what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm just going to hold that up and since this is already highlighted, I don't want to go over the like bleach parts. So I'm just going to weave up through here, get a section right here. And see this part isn't already blonde. Like there's a little bit in there, but not enough to really make a difference. And then hold that. I'm taking the end of my rock tail comb. And just right where that hair starts, I put my rock tail comb down and fold my hair over. And then take my brush. If you could get like one of your friends to watch this video and then do it on you, it's so easy to highlight somebody else's hair on yourself. It's doable, but it's not like simple. And then just pull it down. Um, now, as far as like how long you leave it on, you leave it on, it goes through stages of like processing. Like it'll be, if you have dark brown hair, it'll go to like a light brown then an orangey color, then a caramelly color, then a bright yellow bus color, and then like a light um, yellow, and then palest yellow. It's kind of the stages, so it just depends on how light you want it. Um, the more damaged your hair is, the more porous it's gonna, like, the, like damage equals, well, no it doesn't, but like, just, <sighs> in general, the more damaged your hair is, the more porous it's going to be, so the faster it's going to highlight. If your hair is really healthy, you're going to have to leave it on there longer. Just a heads up. So just check the foils periodically and see if it's the color that you want. Um, they say not to leave it on longer than 50 minutes. So, you know, you can go by the rules or not. That's up to you. But just really baby your hair after you highlight it. So I would suggest 
doing the coconut oil, like in my last video. After you highlight your hair. Okay. I'm going to take my little foil. Sorry if this looks like super awkward. I'm trying to make it as like informative and easy breezy as possible, but you know. And then just bring it down. And now if your hair's longer than the foil, that's what I like about this foil. They have some that's like already pre-sized, but people for really long hair, they need really like long foils, but you can just like bring it up with the bottom of your brush, just wrap it around and put the bleach on top of that. But you don't want super, super duper thick sections because then the bleach won't be able to touch each color hair. So you'll have like a patch of brown in your highlights that didn't get any bleach on it. I'm gonna add just a little bit more since that's like one of my last ones. And you wanna try and do this like as fast as possible because like this hair over here is already getting lightened, you know? So you wanna, like I mean you can take them out and like put water on them and stop the bleach from happening, but it's easier if you just like get them all done as close as possible so they're like processing the same amount of time. So there's the foils and then I think I'm gonna do one in my bangs. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold that back and weave in here. Ding. 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 Bangs are harder because they're short, so it's like hard to grab a hold. Ugh. This is just ridiculous. Okay, there's going to be some blonde. It's going to get re-highlighted. Sorry. I'm watching Law and Order FDU and somebody just said douchebag. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So it's the same thing, just bring it forward. I can't see anything. The foil is like ridiculously too long. Okay. Whew. Finally, I can see again. Okay, so that's it. I'm just gonna let these process. And then I will show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, they go all the way up through here. Um, I think that they turned out really good. What I did, I just wanted to let you guys know how long I left it in. So I put them in and I probably left them for about an hour. I know that you're not supposed to, but my hair's in pretty good condition right now and it wasn't lifting to the color that I wanted it. I could have actually left it in longer and gone a little bit blonder, but I really like how it turned out. I think it goes really good with my red hair. It would look weird if I had platinum, platinum highlights and then had like red hair behind it. So, um, yeah, just go through, um, after you put your highlights in and just check them periodically and see what level they're lifting to. And, um, yeah, good luck. And thanks for watching. I hope that you try it out. And if you do, let me know and send me pictures. Bye.